Hi, I'm Kale Thomas. I'm a makeup artist. I've been doing makeup for 15 years, and today we're going to be doing a freshly dead zombie. You're going to need a few things to get started. You're going to need a color stack, a texture sponge, which I've shown how to make in another video, and some blood, which I've shown to make in another video as well. So how we're going to do this today is we're just going to use a couple different flesh tones to break up his skin just to look a little more dead. Generally, um, I'm just going to go directly onto his skin, but I never like to see a really pale, pale zombie. I don't think it really reads right on camera. And uh, for a freshly dead zombie, you're still going to have some of the, uh, the ruddiness in the skin. So to begin with, we're going to take a texture sponge in an off-white color. And we're, what we're going to do is just generally start highlighting his brow bone, his cheekbones, and his forehead. So basically what we did is uh, started off with a, a stipple sponge in a white, off-white, and I went over the high points of his face in the uh, cheekbones, the brow, the tip of the nose, and the chin. And then I took a brick color and I put it in the hollows in his temples, in his eye, and then around his lips and around his nose just to give that sickly look and around his ears, as you can see. And I used a little bit of it here. Then I took a uh, same color and just kind of just modeled in some veins just to break it up so it's not just flat and not con very contoured, but just give it a little more interest. And then I took a purple, which is my third tone, which is my shadow. And I just went into the very deep parts of his chin and then stippled a little bit on his lip and then did a little uh, on the ears and behind the ears and on the neck just to tie the whole thing together. I also used some in the very inside of his eye, under his eye and on his lid. And then to complete the makeup, I just used powder. Um, then what I like to do sometimes is just add a little blood. Um, Sometimes I put it just kind of out of the ears, you know, coming out, maybe, you know, the other ear. Sometimes people bleed from their ears. Also, sometimes what I like to do is uh, put a little in the nose just to give it a little more dynamic look to it. So it's not just, you know, zombie flesh. It's got a little more interest to it. So I'll dress the ear. So if Josh, if you turn that way, you can see. And then um, to add a little more realism, open. Put a little in the mouth. And then uh, a little more on the mouth. Just to give a little bit of that, uh, he's been feeding. And that is your basic freshly dead zombie. Thanks for watching and click on any of the links above for other zombie related videos. And feel free to send any requests to request at mahalo.com.